So a lot of you already know that I purchased a computerized system for my Gamma Long Arm system, my Vision 2.0. And I have shown you a lot of quilts that I have made. I have lost count of how many quilts I've quilted. But let me just guess that I've done at least 15 quilts since I've had it installed at the end of January of this year. Um, I just want to go over in this video why I purchased the system, some of the pros and cons, and also who installed my system. So why did I choose the Butler Robotics System by Quilt Easy? As you all know, I have a video on how to purchase a long arm system because at the time that I bought my long arm system, I started looking in like 2014. I decided to purchase in 2015. In that in that period, I actually went to a lot of national quilt shows where I was able to quilt on all of the actual long arm frames that were available. I even quilted on some mom and pop type systems as well. And one of the main things for me as to why I bought the Gamel is a lot of the other systems had heavy vibration. And I figured if they couldn't figure out how to stop the vibration at a quilt show, that I definitely, definitely didn't want that system in my home because I didn't want to have to deal with that. And I find when I have a lot of vibration that it ends up going to my fingertips. And then my fingertips get numb after I've been quilting for, say, about two hours or so. So that I did not want. So I wanted to do the same process as to looking for computerized system for my gamble as I did for when I was actually looking to purchase my gamble. Now, ideally, I really wanted to purchase the Statler uh, computerized system, but I could not afford that. That was way out of my price range. It was over $16,000. I don't know what it is today. I have not looked. And then they even came out in the interim with the Elevate. The Elevate originally came out as a, when you first came out, I think it was a special at 8000 if you purchased it. Then it went to 10000 And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's now 11000 And that's still quite a bit of money after I have outright paid for my machine in 2015. I just didn't want to invest a whole lot more money. And I don't really do a whole lot of customers' quilts. So I couldn't justify that cost you know i quilt my own quilts because i do quilt lectures and i do workshops and so i want to have it so that i can have availability to quilt my own quilt tops plus i have a backlog of quilt tops that need to be quilted at least in the 50th range and i estimated at the time that if i paid somebody two to three hundred dollars per each quilt that i had already bought my long warm system so that's what i did so why did I choose Butler then? I chose Butler because of the price. For under $7,000, I got a lot more features than I would have gotten if I had purchased another system at the $11,000 rate. And so I was able to um, do a lot more or get a lot more for my money. And then the second reason is the actual features on the Butler. I have a friend that has a butler system, so I went and checked out her system as well to see what she does on it. And so I was really impressed with what I could do on it, and I'll talk about that in the pros of buying the actual butler. So, why did I actually want computerized quilting? Number one is to quilt my stash of quilt tops. Again, I am a one-person business, and so I found even though I had the long arm here, I still didn't have a whole lot of time to delegate to using the long arm system because I was doing a lot of desk work. I was making product. 
I uh, do quite a number of things as you can see on the sign behind me and being a one person shop where no one in my family is uh, has an inkling of interest in what I do so it just was hard for me to even get over here because I spent a lot of time doing desk work and or making t-shirts or vinyl decals um, making quilt tops or making quilting videos and editing quilting videos doing my live chats and so I just found that I wasn't able to get over here as much as I wanted I got over here some but I wasn't able to get over here a lot so that's why I decided to get computerization on my system also I'm hoping that with computerization that I'll be able to advertise and maybe uh, acquire more customers so that it will also help to pay for my system so far I haven't done any major advertising but I've been getting a lot of referrals and people that I know have been giving me more quilts so I am already doing more quilting now than I have in the previous year for other customers in the future I will be advertising to get more customers but right now due to the pandemic that we're in this is not the time to be advertising for that so I am just quilting for people that I know currently and number three which is also going to go over into my pro pros is multitasking so I will just go ahead and go over into the pros of having in a, a computerized electronic system and in particular I'll be talking about with my butler when I get into more of the features but number one is that multitasking and I'm able to put this system on and get it going and then I have 20 to 45 minutes to an hour depending on how long my quilt top is and what design I am using then I will go do some desk work or I can go do some piecing in another room or I can go do some creating somewhere else I can even go take a nap if that's what I need to do so that's why I like my butler system um, you know any computerized system will allow you to multitask somewhere else my next ones are the actual features on the butler system in that compared to other brands I was not able to do any custom quilting I can do custom quilting on here I can do edge to edge quilting I can do recording of my stitches quilting if I'm doing something where I'm freehand and I want to keep it like say I'm doing my name I want to put my name into a quilt or something then I can record that and keep it so the next time that I need to do that it is now computerized and I don't have to computerize that again so those the customization and recording was not something that I was going to get on the other systems if I did not go up a level to get um, more product or pay more for the services that I wanted so and I like also that I can combine edge to edge with custom and that I can crop out particular areas that I don't want it to quilt say if I had an applique in the quilt and I didn't want it to quilt that or a particular quilt block I wanted to custom quilt it will do the all over everywhere else but where I tell it not to do it so that part I actually love and I'm sure that there's going to be a lot more pros I'm just blanking I didn't write everything down so there are a lot of pros to having a computerized system I just have a few cons for me these may not be problems for everybody else on my vision 2.0 my system already had regulated stitch so I did not buy the perfect stitch package that came with the Butler system what that means is that I lost some features on my actual vision 2.0 because of it now they had to take off my horizontal and vertical channel locks off of my vision I didn't really get an answer as to why it was taken off but it, it it indeed was taking off so I don't know why I couldn't have both channel locks on but they took those channel locks off on the flip side I do have channel lock inside of the butler system but then that means that I have to have the butler system running when I just want to base my quilt onto the frame so that's like having both of the systems on when I really only needed one in the get-go and also on the butler system the channel locks is 
reverse. So what is your horizontal lock on the Vision 2.0? It's now vertical, and your vertical is now your horizontal. So it's absolutely switched. So that hasn't been a big issue for me. I just know it, and so I've automatically gone and punched the appropriate button. Also on the butler of channel locks is that you can also channel lock on any degree that you choose. So that was a feature that I added to my system. I have not used that yet, though. Number two is that I lost floor space over on this side. Uh, when they put, hooked up the box that goes to my butler system, it was catching the underside of the backing, so I had to pull my gamo table wider. I have a 22-inch reach, and I had to open it up more than I would for my normal 22-inch reach because... It was catching into the quilt back and it wouldn't have been a problem for my quilts but i definitely didn't want to damage a customer's quilt so therefore i had to spread this out i used to have about two and a half feet of space over on this wall and now i'm about at i'd say one and a half feet 18 to 20 inches of space from this frame to my wall and the final thing that's a con for me is that <laughs> I think I may have voided my gamma warranty because no one has said that to me during this whole process, not the Butler company. I didn't get that from the people that installed and I have not called gamma to actually verify. But as I saw them working with this system and how they were actually going into my wires that were Put in place by gamel and how they were attaching my the butler system into the wiring of my gamel system so i know that that is different than what gamel put on here and so to some extent i may have voided my warranty and as again like i said i'm not absolutely sure about that because i haven't verified it but nobody mentioned any of that and i didn't even think about that until i saw him basically taking this machine apart now, I didn't do recording on the day that they did install while they were here. If I have any footage, I'll go ahead and insert it here for you, but I'm not really sure if I have a whole lot of footage. Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today I am getting Quilt Butler installed on my longhorn machine. So I have been working on cleaning up my longhorn area. Everything except for my desk area I have cleaned in here. <laughs> and I have done a lot of purging like when I touch stuff I did try to throw away whatever I touch. So it took a while for me to do that. My nemesis is paper. I just seem like I collect a lot of paper and I can't get rid of a lot of paper. I'm coordinating a lot of events and so I am receiving lots of paperwork sign up information uh, payments i'm sending out information i'm also getting scheduled uh, booked for lectures and workshops so i've got all of that paper so yeah i have a lot of paper and then that's just in the business side not even my personal life so it all uh, all my paperwork ends up in this room so let me just show you what the room looks like and then i will give you an idea of what I'm hoping will happen now the only thing that I did not do in this room is I decided not to redo this cabinet and it's got a huge glare on here but this is where I store my quilt tops and quilt backings my quilt backing fabrics that are 108 inches or I also have the quilt backs in here if, even if I piece them and they go with a particular top then I just wrap them around there but I went back today, well not today, about a couple days ago. I actually got all of my quilts put back on the wall. I had been doing so many lectures and they were part of the lectures and so I pulled them down. I'm going to try not to pull down too many more quilts and just try to use what I have in storage. Just switch some things around. Over here, I have two more of these cabinets and I've got them taped up just so that the drawers don't open while we're moving this long arm because we're going to have to slide this long arm that way like that way <laughs> so that he can install on the edge over there he's got to install some things on the outside edges of the machine and so 
we're going to have to push it down. So I didn't take everything out of here. I've got all of these containers here, my sewing machine, and then, so all of this is going to come down. Over here is still my AccuQuilt stuff. I did not like go in here and straighten this stuff up either. Um, I just basically pull out a die, put it back. Um, and I got, like, had some little whatnots in here and things have kind of fallen, but I did not go back in there and do any of that kind of stuff. This is my bad area. My desk always got papers on it. I have to have stuff out so I remember to do it. So, very, very bad area. <laughs> Over here is my die cutting area. Still the same. Believe it or not, this is a box of papers, I think. Yeah, papers, greeting cards stuff like that that I need to go through so I'm working on that as well and same thing over here I just put some things over here that normally sits on the edge of my long arm right here because I normally put my quilts on more far to my right in this view and then I have extra room on this side also put quilts back up on this wall this is a tea quilt shirt that's going to be for sale soon and then I put quilt back up there as well so on this side nothing has changed over here I just have an air purifier that I took out because it'll be in the way this is a tower fan and I left it just in case it gets hot but I plan to pull this out as well as this light will probably end up going behind the door if he needs it um but yeah so i have lights on my machine by the way for those that don't know and then down here is what he needs access to this is where he's going to be installing the tracking system for the machine and he's also going to add a control box on here to so that i can also free motion as well this corner here i did change a little bit that blue cart there was over here in this corner and held all of my long arm tools and i ended up getting more thread and so i ran out of space and so what i did was i got this origami cart off of hsn and i use it because it holds a lot more thread so let me just open one drawer and i like the drawer systems they're so nice even with heavy product in them and this is like my variegated threads glow in the dark threads or black light threads overflow threads and i have another area for overflow threads but it's filled and these are all my tools up in the top I want to just put this these rulers in here they normally go up on this ruler rack here but I took them down because we're gonna be moving the long arm and I don't want them to hurt themselves bump into stuff I also had to remove everything that was on top of these I just did it back here I kind of left it because they're big and I can just pull it off. But I normally keep an iron here. So my spray starch and water bottles. I normally keep under here when I need to do that on a quilt. So yeah, I'm, I removed quite a few things that I had laying under here as well. So. So guys. I'm not even sure if they're going to allow me to videotape any portion of this and I will ask them and see what they say and if not then I will just come back with the install system and then in some future videos I will be doing some reviews and showing you my learning curve as I'm doing this today is actually Thursday January 30th and tomorrow Friday they're going to come back and do actual training on the software. So today is install day and tomorrow is training day. Now it's about 11 o'clock. They had to come. They drove, had a four to four and a half hour drive here. 
so they'll be here about between 12 and 1 so I wanted to get this intro out the way and then tomorrow I'm not sure what time they're gonna actually do training tomorrow or what time she would like to start but I will try to videotape what I can and if not just know that they're gonna be a series of videos of me uh, making a mess out of some things until I learn it but I want to show you in real life how difficult it can be to learn new computer systems or if it's easy how easy now I am very computer literate I was a computer trainer on my job I trained in our system software uh, was very good trainer so I'm real adept at learning new software programs so it should be pretty easy for me so we shall see <laughs> and I will see you all hopefully in the next clip if not after everything's done tomorrow so I just want to show you that we are working on getting the system installed I have the controller box he has changed stuff in the wiring here and this is gonna be the monitor for the system and just look at all this stuff over here <laughs> and I can go around to the other side this is the monitor that they use RCA 10 Viking Pro tablet with folio keyboard well, let me go around he got here about 2 p.m. 2 15 and it's like 4 5 now still got all of this stuff here we don't have the tracking on that's pulling the system yet I'm trying to work on all the electronics to get it so that it will run but we shall see what the next step is hi guys it is day two of installing the system on my gamel let me get some lights on it's a little bit dark in here <laughs> so so far this is what we have it is about 9 15 a.m. and they're supposed to come back today to finish the install he's basically only got the box hooked up and then the wiring into these back handles must also go through to the front inside the machine so he has wired all of this box into the handles in the back so yeah we are waiting for them to show up in the interim I'm going to go ahead and probably put something in the crock pot maybe make a beef stew maybe I'm going to take the camera off of the tripod at this point and I'm going to bring you over so I can show you what was added to my system that you can visibly see. And I have a quilt top on here because in the next video I'm going to go over how to do an edge to edge on the butler system. But first I want to show you what I can visibly see that was done to my system and then I'll tell you some stuff that you can't see. <laughs> in order for Butler to run and so I can use my power buttons on my actual gamble system okay so we are looking at my vision 2.0 system I have a Samsung tablet that came with my vision 2.0 this is has nothing to do with the computerization system this does not make my computerization system run this is to make the vision 2.0 system communicate with the gamma actual machine and so I need to have this up and running as well as this new monitor that I have for the butler system now I don't like that it's an off-brand tablet so I guess we're back into features as I'm talking about this system you know it's it's an off-brand tablet and from what I hear it could be a little pricey to replace considering the type of tablet that it is so I wish it would have had a more name brand tablet here for me to use and I don't know what the name brand tablet on this is right here and I also have that you can visibly see is this box here this is the power box it has the power cords down in here and then these are extra wires that have been zip tied onto here 
and you can see that these wires go all the way back all the way back to here and they are actually connected to this handle back there as well as this handle right here this handle and this back handle was already programmed for me to do my starts and stops and my tacking stitches and so i had them keep it on the left side normally they would have put it over here on this side but me being left-handed i stress the importance of keeping my power onto my left handle and so he was able to do that for me it took him a little bit more work because he had never had to do that before but he at least got it done also you can see on my tray my carry tray they added this and it has this black uh, track here and then we also have this white one here and this is what the computerization system uses to know where exactly it's stitching so it rolls onto that okay this is the box that i was telling you that would hit the back so i put a quilt on here just so you can see how close that is and that's about a quarter of an inch away from the bottom of this base here so when i had this frame here this pole pushed in because my vision only comes up to this point so this is a good five inches of space from here to here and i had it pushed in a little bit more so i've lost some space when i'm trying to get over onto this side because i had to open this frame out a little bit more so yes let's see what else has changed oh we talked about the channel locks and i think that is all that changed with the system so i'm going to put you back on the tripod so the last topic in this video is going to be on who installed my system when you purchase your butler system if you purchase it at a quilt show they're basically just selling you a system and so you have to find somebody if either you have a husband that's mechanical and also an electrician that can do that for you then you can go ahead and do that but my husband doesn't like to touch any of my quilt related stuff especially that that cost me a lot of money and so i was interested in getting my system installed so i talked to the general manager and he referred me to purchase through show me quilting out of kansas city missouri area she's in a county of kansas city so that's what i did and i did i ordered it in at the end of November, early December, it was installed at the end of January. And I like both of the service people. I like the service guy that she brought to install it. And I also like the lady that owns um, Show Me Quilting. And then in February at some point, or maybe early March, I can't remember. And I got a notice or was notified that Show Me Quilting is no longer a dealer for Quilt Easy. And so I'm kind of up as to how do I get services uh, from Quilt Easy? Because officially it's their responsibility to train me. Uh, the lady at Show Me Quilting, I'm not going to put any names. If you know who they are, you know who they are. But uh, the lady at Show Me Quilting has been very supportive in saying that if I needed any help, that she would be there for me. But I just wanted you to know that I don't know who I'm going to get any kind of service from. And I haven't been really told that information. And I, ha I don't know if, if, if when I contact somebody, if they'll be willing to help me or not. I'm sure they will, but that's some unanswered questions that I have. However, I did enjoy the whole install process. I got maybe only an hour of training because the install took a little longer than they thought with having to switch my handles. And also I found that Gamble systems are one of the harder ones to install on, whereas some longworm companies know that they're going to be selling quote easy to their customers. And so they already have like just a back switch. You just plug it in and it's ready to go. So it's a little bit different than for my Gamble system. 
So I, I had to make a run and pick up my nephew from school. They both waited here while I went around the corner to do that. And that also took part of my training time. So I'd say I probably had an hour to an hour and a half of training. But on the flip side, I'm very computer literate. I'm also one of those people that are very determined that once I spend my money on something, that I'm going to figure it out. And that's exactly what I did. So when they left, I did a couple of practice pieces that I ended up using in some projects. And then I just went straight from there and started quilting some quilts in my, um, in my stash. So I think that this will end this video. Again, I do want to iterate that I have not contacted Quilt Easy for service and I have not contacted Show Me Quilting for service, although Show Me Quilting has been more than willing to tell me that they will help me with anything that I need any help for. So I appreciate, you know, both sides of this. So I just wanted to, when I do videos, I just want to keep everything honest with you guys. So I don't know if there's a dealer in Kansas City at this point, you would have to contact a quilt easy i will put information down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing quilt easy just let them know that i sent you and um from my videos that would be very helpful just so that they know that i am advertising their product so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe Share my channel with your other quilting friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.